Hey everyone, welcome back to the Iron and Oak Sawmill. My name is Chuck. And my name is Deb. And we are Iron and Oak Sawmill. To all the new folks just tuning in, thank you very much. I think you're going to really like what you see here. Um, to all the folks come back week in and week out, definitely appreciate you guys as well. Today's video, we're going to be, um, I think we're going to do a video series. I know we're going to do a video series of uh, a bar top build we've been working on since when? August? <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, remember. actually, the log was milled over two years ago. Almost, it's over two and a half years ago the log was milled. And that video, we'll put it in the cards somewhere <laughs> here on the screen. So if you want to see the log actually being milled, uh, it's an English walnut log, and I think you'll enjoy that video as well. We do a lot of water pops on that, so it give you an idea of what the grain's going to look like. And uh, you're actually going to see one all the way through to finish. All right, but it's an English walnut bar top. It's, it's 104 inches long, live edge on one side. It's got bow tie work. It's got some epoxy work in it um, and a lot of character. And I can't wait. I'm looking at it over here. I'm not going to show you yet. I'm looking at it over here. I can't wait to get the finish on it. Uh, we haven't even filmed that part of the video. But the reason we had to have it wait for so long to work on it is we had to get it in here, uh, get it flattened, and let it dry down uh, inside the shop with the heat going and a fan going on it for months. We just let it out here by itself, let it run. And we were so busy with milling, we weren't even in the shop. So it just dried out, dried out, dried out. And you'll get to see all the little uh, information we're putting out on that, as well as how we dried it, okay? But uh, the folks were, they had to have this slab. They wanted this one. They wanted us to start working on it right away and get it dried down. And uh, that we did. So um, we're going to take you through all the steps, uh, pretty much all the steps. We actually missed the flattening on this, on this slab. Uh, I lost the footage on it, something. I can't find it anywhere, but... If you want to see us uh, flattening slabs on our fixture, uh, the cherry bar top build, I think that's a, a five video series. If you want to see the flattening portion of that, tune into that video. But uh, let's not keep you guys in waiting any longer. Um, let's get out to the stack and get this slab picked out. <music> So here we've got the stack un, uh, uncovered. We're going to be taking the fourth one down here. And if you look back at our videos, there's uh, you've never seen walnut like this pink. This was the one that had the pink in it. They're hoping it still has it in it, and so am I, because that's going to be a very unique piece. I kind of doubt it, but let's see what happens. These were originally cut at two and a quarter. Let's get it opened up and uh, get these out of here. I don't know if you guys remember this, when this was post, this original video, when we saw this, or milled this, was shot or posted back in November of 2020. So, it's been here a while. It's um, August of 2022. Alright, so, <laughs> we saved you from watching a struggle, struggle getting these off. They weren't too bad. These are still pretty heavy, um, but we got it down to this is number four from the top. And uh, yep, looking good. You just, you don't see any of the color once it dries up, but uh, it's there. And you can see where, how, how wide the heartwood is along here. So that's good, looks nice. Now it's got to get it out of here and get it to the shop.
All right, guys, I don't want to spend a lot, whole, a whole lot of time and effort on this, but uh, I'm just smoothing it so the customer can see it. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and flatten everything again anyway. It's not flat right now, so it's just smooth. But uh, it popped really nice. Just had to get that surface cleaned up. Uh, it's not perfect. There's scratches in it from the belt. And there's a 36 and an 80 grit and an 80 grit on the, uh, the RO150. Okay, we got it knocked down and figured I'd just take half of it so they can see before and after and then when they come over I'll hit it with a uh, hit it with maybe some mineral spirits to pop the grain a little bit for them. This one I don't think they're going to like it at all. Uh, it would just be me but this is sapwood, this darker spots here. This is not heartwood, although it looked like because this is sapwood here. This is heartwood here. I'm going down through. And it's got the black staining on the surface. That'll come off when I uh, flatten it. And then, of course, when I sand it. There you have it, guys. There's the beginnings of the bar top that we're making. We've got to see which one they like the most. And we'll go from there. But my guess is this one. Could be wrong, but my guess is this one. And that crotch feathering in there. All right, as we expected, they picked this one. We've already taken the other one back, put it in stack, restrapped the stack so it stays flat. And we did pop the grain a little bit with some mineral spirits here. So we'll give you a quick peek. And a nice bit of crotch feather going down through there. But this isn't sanded nearly. It's still got to get flattened, still got to get finished sanded. Um, but they are happy with what they've got so far. I did tell them I might be adding some bow ties down in here. Seems to be a crack forming. I want to get that bow tie together. They were they like the bow ties. A little epoxy, black epoxy in this knot hole here, knot hole here. And I got to see what's going on with this. Got a little bit of a bark inclusion thing going on. Not sure what that was all about, but we're going to be cut off right about here. 103 and a half, 103 and a quarter inches long. So we're going to get the track saw, get this cut down to rough size, and uh, then we'll take it into the shop. Let's not drag it in there full weight and have to deal with it. Let's get as much weight off as we can before we move it. Man, what a difference. From the stack to rough sanding. Stuff's looking good. All right, guys, just to let you know, you don't need to track. If you're going to work with slabs, you need a track saw or something that's going to cut you a straight line. Do you need this track saw? No. Um, this was an investment because of knowing that we're going to need it. It's a Festival TS-75. of my fingers underneath. That didn't sound good. Did I hit metal? Nope. Don't know what that was all about. Now I've already made my line down here, the blue chalk line, measuring the narrowest point is 16 is what they were looking at and I tried to balance it out the rest of the way it goes upwards of 19 in here to about 17 on this end and the other end there is a narrow point where the, the uh, slab curves in down there to 16 that's the narrowest they want it so that's what we went with so let me go ahead and like I said this is all going to be oversized for now so the final measurement is 103 and a quarter. So we're gonna go 104 and a quarter. That's only one inch oversize. There we go. Line up the fixture with the edge of the pencil line.
Cut. Got the track saw full length set up. Again, this is about 104 inches long. And one of the reasons I bought an extra set of, or a couple sets of track. That sounded like metal again. Final cut. No metal, just <laughs> gnarly crotch grain. And it started to pinch here. Watch your fingers on the door, huh? We get to see how bad this is. Not too bad. All right, we got the slab up on the fixture, under the flattening sled. This corner's a little high, that corner's a little high. It's got a little twist to it, and it has a little upward bow in the middle. This is a two and a half inches. I think we should be able to finish this off, flatten it off at about two, two and a quarter. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but two inches is plenty bulky enough for the bar top that they're looking for. And uh, it's gonna look good. Man, that's a nice crotch figure right there. All right, guys, it's been, I don't know how long it's been since we've been out here to work on this bar top. For you guys, it's instantaneous. For me, I don't know when we left this out here, but it is now November 30th, 2022. And this is the top we started on. I think it was probably back in June or July at a guess, just a total guess biggest reason we couldn't mess with this was it was still too wet um, it was a lot it had a lot more moisture than I thought it did so of course bringing it inside is going to help uh, that situation but let me show you what we did to help kind of speed that along all right so you guys know a few years back we put the heater in the electric heater does a great job for warming up the shop uh, and it's a lot lot more pleasant to work out here here we got a fan. Now this heat, we turned this on in the summertime <laughs> and had it, kept it warm in here. And this fan blowing right over top of it. So the, the hot air is blowing down, the wind's blowing across here like this, and the slab was here. I flattened the slab, and then just to make sure it didn't move, hit it with the clamps and kept it held down tight. And now, I think when we started on it, it was 16%, which is not that bad. I don't think. Maybe, maybe it was, uh, maybe it was a little higher than that. But now we're at nine. I go in the house and I check woodwork in my house. It's at 12%. So all over this thing, the worst spot is maybe where the knots are at. We're at 10% there. Down here where we have the crotch figure, 
we're a little over 10% here. What we have to do now is, I'm gonna start sanding it just to see where we're at. Actually, no, what I wanna do is start filling in. I got a ton of little bug holes that they want filled in uh, with epoxy. We've got some knots. I might do epoxy in this one. We've got a th like three of them right here. Stand by. Always comes on at the worst time. <laughs> uh, then we have a little bit of a crack forming here in the center. This is almost a pith. Uh, it shouldn't be a pith slab. No, it's not. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's prob This is probably an inch or more off the pith all the way down through here. But I'm going to epoxy this in. There's not much. It's not really open here. What I may end up doing is um, bow ties. Maybe split some bow ties different sizes along here to help uh, tie that back together. Again, just some knots along here. And then down here where you have the crotch coming out, you did pick up some pith here. Which isn't too bad. We've got a knot under here for filling. Probably have to pick some of that. Looks like a little bit of bark inclusion in there. And then this end here, I'm thinking bow tie here. And I might put one in the end just for fun. Uh, I'd have to get a fixture going for my uh, router. This little edge here has to be kind of blended in, make this look more natural to this. So I did have it, I don't have this clamp directly down to the table as well. For those who are gonna say, well, you're not getting any air circulation underneath, you can only drive the top. Got about three quarters of an inch gap underneath there, so air's been able to move all the way around this. And, uh, should have been drying evenly. That was That's a trick. You don't want to dry one side and not the other because it's just going to potato chip on you. Okay, I guess what we could start with, guys, is just going along into these areas here and cleaning them out. Now that the wood has dried down quite a bit, this stuff just pop, kind of pops right out of there. These are just little bark inclusions in here that will be... Uh, Making our epoxy not so nice, so I'm not, I'm not a huge user of epoxy. I've filled smaller stuff like this with it, but you don't want to get in here and start digging and really clawing at it and ripping at it. You just want to get what's loose out of there, at least in my book. Okay, so the epoxy resin and the hardener, it's a two to one. Uh, I've got some decent sized cracks to fill here that's the other thing guys uh, I can also thin this epoxy down a little bit too uh, this is plenty thin enough right now yeah that's hot all of a sudden that's the problem with this stuff all of a sudden I mean it was liquid one second look and it's just all curing up that fast all of a sudden down to the blue boom and all that epoxy is going oh I, I don't even have any of the pinholes filled oh, I'm sitting that outside 
we're filling it in and where it doesn't fill in very well or where a crack seems to be forming it will be getting a bow tie we got a lot of excess on the top like I said I've got a lot to sand and scrape I have card scrapers and whatnot well there it is guys the beginnings of the making of this bar top uh, hopefully you liked it you got selecting the slab um, getting it getting it uh, trimmed to size and uh, starting the epoxy prep and unfortunately the flattening part which uh, I lost the video apologize for that but if you like I said earlier in the video if you want to see that go back to our cherry bar top build you'll see us flattening there but it's a lot of chips flying around I'm wading ankle deep in chips by the time I'm done it's it's a lot of work getting a flattened down but uh, it turned out real nice on the jig and we we're real happy with it and it's uh, so far it's coming along really well our next video what are we gonna cover I think we're gonna do uh, some more epoxy fill um, getting the front edge prepped yep. you'll see ex how I do that I don't like to do it with any mechanical means right here it's all with <laughs> this by hand um, we had one edge on this where we had to trim it a little bit to get it through the throat of the saw. Right. So we're going to address that and how we how we make that look like the original live edge. And uh, hopefully you find that uh, interesting. But it turned out real well. I like it. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know we did. Um, to all the folks that made it all the way to the end, uh, we definitely appreciate that. Watching the whole video is a great way to show support for the channel and definitely helps us out here so we can keep bringing content to you guys out there. So if you have any questions about what we did in this video with the, the, uh, with the, the epoxy work, with the sawmill of it, with uh, getting it trimmed down to size, any questions at all, please put it down in the comments section. We're glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out and we will see you out here next time. And take care. Okay, you ready to wrap this one up? Sure. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I'll yeah. have to put that one in. <laughs>